So we've got uh, four indefinite integrals or antiderivatives to find. Remember, those terms are completely interchangeable. Antiderivative or indefinite integral. Uh, we write them like this. This is the symbol for taking an antiderivative or finding an indefinite integral. And each one of these is a power rule problem. So the power rule is uh, fairly straightforward. We're just going to add 1 to the exponent and divide by that uh, same amount. So this becomes uh, 6x to the 13 over 13 plus c. Um, you will lose points for not adding that plus c because that's a part of the antiderivative. Okay. Um, the next one, we want to write this as x to the minus 4. And then we can use the power rule. So negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. And there we go. And uh, maybe you want to rewrite that. Maybe you want that to be negative one-third, uh, or sorry, negative one over three x cubed plus c. Either way, um, the next one we have, let's scoot this down a little bit, the square root of x, the antiderivative. So that's the antiderivative of x to the one-half, writing that as an exponent. 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, so we have x to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves plus c. And this would almost always rather be written as 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus c. 1 over 3 halves is 2 thirds. And then finally, uh, we have an 1 over the fifth root of x cubed. So. 1 over the fifth root of x cubed. Again, we just want to write it as an exponent because that's what the power rule is set up for. So uh, x to the 3 fifths. Um, oh, where'd it go? <laughs> x to the 3 fifths dx equals the antiderivative of x to the minus three-fifths dx, and now we can use the power rule. Now we're set up. So negative three-fifths plus one, that's negative three-fifths plus five-fifths, that's x to the two-fifths over two-fifths plus c, which we again would rather write as five-halves x to the two-fifths plus c. So there's four examples using the power rule. Uh, sometimes you need to write an x exponent in the denominator, right, is a negative, um, or uh, roots, write those as exponents, and then we can use the power rule.